Alright guys, it's time to head to the West Wing. See what we have in store over there. I keep thinking of something I can pick up over here. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh my god, that's the wrong way! <laughs> Tyrant's just standing there. <laughs> We're off to a great start, as usual. I haven't played this in a couple of days. Been staying at work late. Anyways. Okay, we're at the West Wing thingy. Access denied. But we have the senior staff. Triple line. Oh, that's four. We have three. Maybe we can... Do this thing? Yes. I was just thinking the control would be in there. I hope so, Leon. I don't know if we're gonna have to fight plants over here. So I'm gonna pull out the shotgun in case. Punk type dude. Lab digital video cassettes. Now. Three grenades. <laughs> hmm. I don't think there was anywhere to play cassettes over here, was there? Security room. Would be a good guess. The ladder. I guess we'll have to try to go back to the sewer system if we want to play that. Or maybe we'll find something over here. <sighs> <laughs> they put the storage thing right next to this because they probably figured you weren't carrying it. OSS. And I noticed when I was watching or editing the video that you guys don't actually hear the sound this thing makes. Maybe you do. I don't know. I guess my volume just must have been too low. It's a cool noise. Alright, power has been restored. Can I check this computer? William Birkin's inbox. Cinder Jane Doyle, subject suspecting research, suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. Cinder B.E. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed an interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is the most well-funded in the whole of the United States. Sender Richard Kessler. I heard the good news. G is almost ready. Strange I never thought to report the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry, we've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Cinder Jane Doyle. 
You are under suspicion of breaching your contract with the Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G Project and have been in unauthorized contact with the military. Is that new? I don't remember that happening. But it could just be because I haven't played this or played the original game in years. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. So they're kind of making this look like it's more Birkin's fault than Umbrella's fault. Oh, is that red? Blast, I think it's blue. Drat. Can I open anything else? I hate seeing those boxes with the blue cross on them. Like they were the healing item. Ooh, gunpowder. Oh no, my <laughs> signal modulator is all used up. I did enjoy that thing. There's a nifty little storage crate right here. I'm gonna keep it. Because I love it. You know what, I'll keep that on me too. Do I have any gunpowder large left? No, just a regular gunpowder. Man. Oh, VHS, nice. work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. <laughs> they got a pretty good voice actor for Birkin. What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. It did look like he was pulling out a gun. Yeah, he did have a gun. That's really cool to see, but how do they have portable <laughs> recording technology? I mean, have you seen old school camcorders? <laughs> They're not the smallest things out there. Um, yeah, I need some herbage. What the heck is this? Decontamination room of some sorts. Don't have to do anything with that. Umbrella. Big eyeball. Arm? 
Maybe a heart? Something else? That's some creepy stuff. Oh, did that say William and Annette Birkin? No! Gunpowder large. Right after I used it. Ugh. There's a typewriter. I don't know if that's a fish tank. I don't see any fish. Yes! Got the red herb, baby. Now we are ready to go. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna have so many shotgun shells. I'm not even gonna need the handgun anymore. <sighs> Maybe I should have saved that for Magnum. Okay, next time I get a yellow gunpowder, I'm saving it for the Magnum bullets. I believe that's how it works. Yellow's Magnum. Yeah, two yellow for Magnum. Research diary. Embryo... <laughs> Embryo growth observations. Subject 449. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15, lucid, GCS, 10. However, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was disposed of. Breeding rate observations. Subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the text subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimentation and took their own life. T-virus resistance experimentation. Subjects 628, 639. We administered the G-virus to subject 628, who had shown slight resistance to the T-virus. The virus was introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G-virus. <sighs> so it sounds like they said subject 628 and 639 had a close relationship? Are these like uh, people who are related to each other? Experimenting on families? That's some messed up stuff. Huh. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. What? <laughs> Oh no. Oh gee. she's shooting him with call the 
this thing, William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. You're Umbrella, too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. I like how he has the unupgraded Matilda now. Put me in a corner. Escape the corner. Looks like he's gonna do some charge attack. <laughs> this is intense. Magnum. I saw some, something over there I could click, it looked like. There's one on the other side over there too. What is it? Oh, a hand grenade. Apparently you can only have three at a time. What? How did my grenade miss? Maybe he was stuck in an animation? I don't know. Flamer fuel? <laughs> Maybe you're actually just supposed to fight this thing by shooting it. So far, all the boss fights have had some weird kind of environmental thing you had to do. He does not activate that grenade very quick. God, that G looks creepy. Dang, I blasted out both of his eyes. I just need the one on his back. Sorry. Granado!
Ooh. No. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah. Got plenty of shotgun shells already. Magnum, I think, will be much more useful. Class A breach detected. Class A until target is neutralized. Jeez, that thing is terrifying. I'm going left this time. And a flash grenade. Well, got me out of taking any damage. When you're not stunned by a grenade. I want to cry. Alright, now I'm pulling out the flamethrower. Why isn't he stunned by grenades? <laughs> Thought he's gonna do a leap attack. Oh my god, what is he doing? I thought there was one on his back I had to shoot. I guess it's just the one on his chest? Ugh. Um... Let me fill this back up. Got him! I hope. Whew! Some more handgun bullets. That was a good fight. A first aid spray. And I'm still fine. Slightly less fine than full fine, I think, but... <laughs> considering that fight just happened, I'll take a slightly less fine any day. <laughs> that fight was pretty cool, though. Man, how many handgun bullets do you want to give me? Did 
It looks like everything. The room is blue, so I'm going to proceed onward. Gosh, I really want to get a closer look at this guy. Why is she wearing like trendy jeans with rips in the knee? That looks bad. Feels worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G virus gets into the wrong hands. Have a key on her. I thought maybe that's how I'd get access to that little elevator in the middle. What? Oh. <laughs> I thought I had some weird footprints. Oh, I guess the central out elevator just opens up automatically now. Isn't there a save in this room? No, it's a video player. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom level train platform. Ada, you look terrible. <laughs> Why did you wear that dress? I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. Way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Of course she's not FBI. She's wearing a red dress. As I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was. I was just some pawn to you. Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun. I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. You shoot me. But I don't think you can. And that's got some good aim. Lift, Leon! Take care of yourself, Leon. No! Wow. 
I really don't know how she could survive that fall. Scopy, the lab. Nothing's red. Except the locked door. Got 107 handgun bullets. Outside my magazine, just waiting to shoot something. Hope there are at least some zombies on the way. What the heck is that? First aid spray. A minute until detonation. Who's that? Is that Claire? Everyone else is dead. It's gotta be. Claire! Leon? You're down here too! Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. Something in here. Aha. Combat knife. Go fast. I wonder if we're gonna have to do that battery thing still. Two birds with one stone. Plenty of time. Go straight to the right. El Herbo. No, don't go up. More handgun bullets. It's Mr. X.
Got the convenient little circle. I can run around him. Straight left, right, left, left. -ish. Shotgun out in case a zombie blocks my path. Are you kidding me? Oh no! <laughs> Come on, Leon! Oh crap! the door. Dang. I'm getting so many healing items now. <laughs> I have three full health. <laughs> oh, here's that weird battery thing. The joint plug, that's what it is. Oof. You know what we can do? Store a thing of handgun bullets in there. Joint plug in you go. Oh, Mr. X is going to jump on this elevator, I know it. I'm surprised he didn't explode through the wall and land right in front of me. Well, that was alright. grenades. Oh. I got my super red and green. Good shotgun blasts. I guess that's why they gave you so many health items. Where am I at? Caution still. Oh crap. I thought that'd be a nice little obstacle. What the heck? He's half a face. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's on fire. Jeez, even with my super defense, that does a lot of damage. Let's 
trying to go for max damage as quickly as I can. Maybe not a good strategy. Oh my god! He threw the rock at me. God, I thought I'd be safe behind the rock. Okay. You just gotta spam him when he does that. I wonder if you can actually kill him. Or if it's just like a timer thing. Oh yeah! <laughs> the rocket launcher! How does she survive that fall though? Anti-tank rocket. <laughs> yeah! The quad barrel. Oh, it's already equipped. Cool. Oh my god, you can see his ribs. Ooh. He's gone now, for sure. You have arrived at the bottom level. That's where I wanted to go, too. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Shit. Get out of here. Come on, Leon, you can do it. This is pretty intense, dude. Oh. You don't want to keep that for a souvenir? I can't believe I actually miss her. Me neither. Never trust a woman wearing a random red dress for no reason when she should not be. Claire better be on the train. Yeah. Leon? Hey. We made it. Just like I said we would. I wish there was more interactions with Claire. She's kind of just like off in the background. Doing her own thing the entire time. Overall though, I... I give this game really, really high marks. Eight or nine. <sighs> Gimmick artists? One of those. Maybe a ten. I still have to play the Claire scenario. But just as far as Leon's concerned, eight or nine, probably nine. Uh, the lab area nest left me with a little bit to desire. I mean, the boss fights were amazing, but I just wish there was a little bit more meat in the actual nest area itself. Other than that, though, I really don't know what else I would ask for. Um, maybe a slightly higher <laughs> percentage chance to get a headshot kill. 
and maybe a little more interaction with Claire and Leon. It'd be cool if there was like maybe a little section where Claire can't get somewhere she's trapped and you can actually like lower a bridge or something and you can see her moving onward. Just like a short little added thing in between the last time we saw her and when we just saw her now at the end. I never killed Marvin. I wonder if I get anything special for that. Let's see, what else? Yeah, I really can't think of anything else that I'd like. Maybe more stun damage from the grenades? <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot against G in that fight. Um, more damage maybe for the shotgun as well against zombies. Although I was getting a lot of headshots when I was in Nest, but earlier on... I remember I shot a zombie in the face three times with that shotgun and it didn't kill him. Or maybe it took three to kill him, something like that. Which is kind of excessive. <sighs> Even the handgun, you kind of think, would kill the zombies faster. One thing I was thinking, though, if they did want to have the damage like, extremely low like that, where the zombies need to have multiple headshots to kill them, you could perhaps do it and have it make sense a little bit more if maybe the officers that are going to meet Leon on his first day pull a prank on him and switch out his service pistol with like a 22 which is still probably going to kill someone in a single shot if you shoot him in the face but I do remember hearing someone got shot like six times with it or five times in the face and they survived so, maybe, but I, I wouldn't want to get shot in the face with a 22 even. But uh, I think it would definitely make more sense zombie-wise if Leon has a 22 and it would take that many bullets to kill all the zombies. And maybe you can make the shotgun a 410. I'm not sure what the 870 is. I'm just guessing it's a 12 gauge because everything's a 12 gauge. <laughs> but you can make it the 410 smaller gauge shotgun shells as well. And that would make a little more sense. Uh, the chemical flamethrower I think was fine damage wise. The magnum I think was fine damage wise. I really liked it. It was very intense. The limited li the limited ammo and the limited healing items really makes you want to do things carefully. Um, I'm just about sure for hard mode you're gonna have to save and then go into mo rooms multiple times and if you get too much damage you're gonna have to load your save again just so you can conserve your ammo and conserve your healing items. Which is what I did in professional mode, I believe it was called, in Resident Evil 4. So, I think I'll have fun doing that, even. Here's just some long credits, though. That G boss fight was amazing. Vincent Kwong knows what I'm talking about. As does Ted Sung. And Debbie Mola. But, uh... The Tyrant one was okay, I thought. It was kind of... It really screamed like it needed a little roll animation or a little dodge animation. Or even just the contextual dodges like Resident Evil 4 had. Where you hit the square button at the right time and you can dive out of the way. I wouldn't want it all the time just for certain boss fights. It's because it feels really clunky and it kind of takes you out of the immersion. 
reminds you you're playing a game. And that didn't really happen with the zombies as much. The G fire though <laughs> was it was I don't want to say perfect, but it was really good. Definitely the favorite fight of mine so far. I just I love running around. He's trying to throw stuff at you and having to shoot him in the eyeballs I think is really fun. I know it's not the most unique thing. There's always glowing weak spots. But it it was really tense, especially with the Magnum. Just trying to aim fast enough before he turned around and slashed you or before he ripped out the canister to throw at you. I love that fight, especially <laughs> with all that ammo stack piled around there. Alright, now we get to see the after credits cutscene. Oh no. C rank. <laughs> not very good. No, I was not <laughs> I was not prepared for this game at all. Oh well. I'll do better on the Claire playthrough for sure. I'm kinda getting used to it now. And honestly, this game was scaring me. It really was. All right, well that was the Leon playthrough. I'll have to look up online to see if you actually get anything special for getting like the A rank and the S rank. I'm pretty sure C is the lowest rank you can get. <laughs> so <laughs> sadness for me, but like I said, I'll get better. And I'll probably record a Claire playthrough for you as well. I don't know what I'm going to do as far as hunk and tofu depends on <laughs> what kind of playthrough that is but I'll be continuing to do Dark Souls 3 PvP as well like once a week as well as this so hope you guys enjoyed it like I said I thought it was amazing this is Moose Torrent and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly <laughs>